All right. Um, to continue to talk about um, that, I'm willing to bet that certain things are ontological. Um, I'm not skeptical about everything. If I was skeptical or anti-realist about everything, I'm not, I'm not anti-realist about anything. But if I was like that about anything, I would not be a theist as I am. Uh, you know, I wouldn't be a Kantian. I, I, I'm a Kantian I, in, in ethics anyway. But uh, I wouldn't be like that. Um, some YouTubers on, t t on YouTube talk about something that's called religious experience. Uh, there's people that do things that's, that's called the neuroscience of religious experience and a bunch of the stuff about re religious experience. Now, the reason that I am not, the probably the thing that I'm most willing to bet, or the thing that I'm most sure about, is that there is a God. That there is a God out there who's has a plan for me, who is making a, an impact on my life, who is um, constantly making it an impact on everyone's life. This is because I've had religious ex religious experiences, which include indirect and direct um, discussion between from God to me. Um, indirect meaning um, something that's miraculous that has happened, or that I wouldn't have even expected, that just seems really ironic. I was like, wow, this cannot be just a coincidence, you know. Um, but, I mean, thing, another thing, I have these idea. I just have a, an, an immediate idea that I had not had before, or some, something like that that would just immediately change my mind, or, you know. And a lot of people can, will not understand this as a babble about this, because you, ha you are not in my consciousness, you were not in my brain as these things, these things have happened. Um, you, 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 you can't understand how I prayed a certain prayer and it miraculously got answered. You cannot understand how good I feel when contacting God. You cannot understand how good I feel in worship. And this is merely a consciousness thing. This is merely a thing that is in my mind that you cannot understand unless you unless you had your own experiences. It's called an experience, I think. And I think it's just, this is a selective experience because not, not everyone is going to have the same experience with the, with the God as I have. Um, people are, a lot of people are going to have more and more, um, big, more bigger, way bigger experiences with God than I have. Maybe a lot, a lot of people have way less than I have. But... I, I hate to say that I know, but I feel like I know, I think I know. I'm pretty damn sure that I know that there is a God because of how things have worked in my life. This is what brings me through my whole skeptic and idealist ideas. Because I think there is something, pretty damn sure that there is something outside of myself that I think exists, or I strongly believe that exists, um, and I think I, wa I want to say so bad that I know, but it's impossible as a small being as I am, a small being as anyone is, it's impossible to say that you know anything. I'm still going to keep this thing as I talk about how I strongly, strongly believe that God exists, and I'm pretty damn sure that God exists. And I'd be willing to bet uh, all my life savings, all my money, all my, all my, all my animals, you know, everything that I own. I would be willing to bet everything that I own on the fact that a God does exist, even though I can't, st I still can't say that I know. Knowledge is a really high bar. I mean, I can say in my mind that I know, but I can't. You know, I can say, well, I. I'm pretty damn sure that God does exist. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure. I, I, I'm pretty sure that I, pretty, I'm pretty sure that I know, but I can't say that and prove it. But this is one thing that comes through my skepticism about a being that exists outside of my own, my own idea. Because this seems realer. Religious experience like this seems more real than a lot of things do. 
So that's this is why this is so appealing. This is why this is so convincing. But uh, I can talk about this for a while and still not convince some of you atheists. But um, it's kind of like you. It's kind of like you had to be there. And I was the only one that was in these X amount of in this you know three or four amount of three or four things that have happened. Um, so. But if you really, I mean, I, I mean, I'm such a skeptic, being such a skeptic right now, but that I can't say that I know I have justified belief, justified belief, and I still can't prove an argument to others. I cannot say and prove that I know. But in it, therefore, it still comes down to very convincing speculation. I, I go to church, I'm, I mean... Most Christians like myself would not say this. They would say, I know God exists. But they don't know what they're saying when they say they know God exists. Um, a being like we are has little possibility to know anything. That, at least that's my view as an idealist or a skeptic. But... I don't know. I be, I be like I said. I, I mean, even though I can't say that I know God, God exists, I, I can say I'd be willing to bet everything that I have, every animal I have, every possession I have, all of my money, uh, my my job, my tuition, my f uh, I'd be willing to bet everything that I have, um, in the event that if I lost this bet, that I would just be a bum on the street with nothing. I would be willing to bet that kind of bet. Everything that I have, everything that's going, that is going on in my life, I'd be, I'd be willing to bet that much. So it's that strong. That's strong. But, I don't know, that's another, that's a, it's, it's kind of a thing I could keep, keep talking about for a while. This is, I want, I, I'm talking about this because of my, my skepticism. I'm skeptic about things like this cup being ontological, or metaphysical. I'm skeptic about this iPod being uh, ontologically real. I'm skeptical, ske skeptical about this world, or outside of my own consciousness, my own mind, about these things being real, as far as I can know. But I'm, I'm fully, fully, very, I'm very, very strongly believe this one supreme deity does exist. <laughs>